Do you have two unrelated types that you need to handle similarly? It's no problem with protocols and retroactive modeling. Hi, this is Ray Fix, and if you find this video useful, let us know by hitting the like button. Do you have two unrelated types that need to be handled similarly? It's no problem with protocols and retroactive modeling. One of the cool features of protocol-oriented programming is how it lets you build a new interface for models after the fact. This is even if you don't have the source code for the model. You can always make a new witness for every type. This is called retroactive modeling. Let's see it in action with circles and rectangles. Open the starter playground that includes core graphics. Now let's start by making a circle model. We created a simple value type for circle. We can create a circle and a rectangle instance. Let's create an array of circles and rectangles and add up all the areas in the array. To do this, we'll need to create a common API. Start with a protocol geometry. Our protocol requires a settable origin as well as a method for computing area. You can conform this protocol after the fact, even CGRect, which is part of core graphics. It already happens to have an origin, so you don't need to add that. Now you can create an array and add up these areas. And we'll run it. Reduce accumulates the area starting with zero and sums up all the areas. We have taken two models that have started with nothing in common and made an API and used that to do something useful with retroactive modeling. That's pretty neat. In real life, I've used retroactive modeling to combine different kinds of ID readers, QR codes and 1D barcodes. What kinds of things have you adapted and combined with retroactive modeling? Please share in the comments below.